We know that coming to Walt Disney World can be very overwhelming with all the fast passes, the dining reservations, even getting from attraction to attraction can be extremely overwhelming. But we've got a friend that can help you make your next trip to Walt Disney World even more magical. It's Ramon and Theme Park Concierges. You can visit themeparkconcierges.com or call them at 407-257-9973. Ramon and his amazing team of VIP concierges will take care of you from the moment you arrive at the park until the moment you go back to your resort. They can take care of you for a four-hour time slot or a full day. It all depends on what you need. They can take care of your dining reservations, your fast passes, and even make sure that you find even more magic hidden in the Disney parks. Well, contact our friends, themeparkconcierges.com, or call 407-257-9973 and tell them your friends over at the Disney Parks Podcast sent you. Welcome to the Disney Parks Podcast with your hosts, Tony Castlenova from DisneyByTheNumbers.com and Parkhopper John from WDWParkhoppers.com. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the podcast at all times. And get ready for the Disney Parks Podcast. If you're like us, you spend a lot of time driving or commuting back and forth to work. And the best way to spend that time is to listen to a book on audio. Well, we've partnered with our friends over at audible.com to give you a very special offer. If you go to DisneyParksPodcast.com slash audible, you'll be able to sign up for an audible account and get two free downloads. If you choose to stay with the program, it's only $14.95 a month. You can cancel at any time and you can still keep the free downloads. Make sure you visit DisneyParksPodcast.com slash audible and maybe you can get a copy of Neil Gabler's amazing Walt Disney biography. Or maybe you can get a copy of Disney Wars and find out all the backstage politicking that was going on during the Michael Eisner years at the Walt Disney Company. We don't know what you want to choose, but we know there are thousands of books to choose from, from all sorts of categories. Make sure you go to DisneyParksPodcast.com slash Audible today. And now, the Disney Parks Podcast infotainment segment. Right, so uh, what we thought we'd talk about today is basically talking about um, the Christmas stuff. Do you have the the? Well, actually, let me ask you this question: Do you have the new? Do you have the new stuff at Disney Springs? The new Italian stuff in the news? Yes. <laughs> Enzo. Yes. <laughs> That's so funny. It's interesting too because uh, we were over there the other day, and if you're like walking towards Planet Hollywood, like towards the entrance to Planet Hollywood, and then you make a right and you go over that bridge, like like you're heading up the mm-hmm. stairs to SDK. Mm-hmm. To the left, there's now this round thing they built, which I think is going to be one of the the hideaways, because you'll go in the Edison, then you'll go down and then through a tunnel. Oh, cool! Over to like this part of the, uh, it'll go underneath the walkway. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's so really it's cool. It's gonna be fun. Gonna and be speaking of, fun. of the Edison, did you see their oops? No, what was their oops? They posted the opening day on Twitter. Oops, and then took it down. I don't understand. It wasn't officially announced. Oops. <laughs> so when's the opening day? Uh, January twenty first. Oh, nice. <laughs> I saw somewhere somebody had something on as January first. Yeah. I, I think the Twitter announcement was January 21st. Uh, yikes. Yeah. Because they're not going to open on January 1st. Right. There's too many things going on. Yeah, totally. So, we were there uh, We were there on Saturday, and that was the day that the Astros uh, were mm. there celebrating. That was interesting. Had a good meetup. All two our, of them. All two of them. Well, I thought there were three. Were there not three? Uh, two. Three. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever it takes to win a World Series. Yeah. <laughs> I think, it, I think it's <laughs> at least nine. So, uh, so yeah. So we, we'll talk about that more in the uh, the, the parks podcast uh, show. But we want to talk a little bit about the Christmas stuff. What 
what are your let me just throw this out here we can sure. talk about this before you go crazy sure. what is your favorite thing to do at the holidays at disney my two favorite things to do as all disney fans are yes you can't just name <laughs> no one, one. Yeah. there's one old and one new okay okay the new item is the jingle bell jingle bam right right I, I i think they did a great job with that i really do i agree um i love everything about it like the you know the way they kind of melded and mushed everything together right uh that's christmas i love the lasers lasers uh, the lasers <laughs> um i love that uh you know it's kicked off by prep and landing i love mm -hmm. a little prep and landing right uh so I, I just like everything about that um and now i'm excited to see what they've done with sunset boulevard and now the new christmas trees and all that other uh, jazz. Yeah, absolutely. It should be so, a great time. So it'd be good. And the other thing is an old thing. I like the very merry Christmas party. That's right. That's your favorite. Yeah. That's your favorite post. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, extracurricular event, I should yeah. say. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going. Uh, I I think Robin and Robin are going on the fifth for her birthday. I'm not sure. Uh, December fifth. Yeah. Yeah. She's uh she's born the same day as Walt. Um, That's crazy. Yeah. So. I don't know if uh, I got to see if I have time and money to uh, go yeah. venture out and do that. Yeah, I would say. Uh, so what's yours? Unfortunately, the, the my favorite thing was to go to the Osborne Family Spectacle of Dancing Lights, mm. and it was it was something that I enjoyed, but it's something that Sid really enjoyed. You know, and if I can get fun watching her turn to a six year old, you know, uh, I, I did dig that. I think uh, I. It mine is just very simple. I love I love Mickey's Very Merry. I love all that mm. stuff. But honestly, I just love walking around, walking down the main uh, thoroughfare in Hollywood Studios. Mm. I love the classic that yeah the music that they play that kind mm -hmm. of fifties sixties Christmas right dun, 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 yeah that style of music well, Perry Como yeah that's the kind of stuff I grew up with mm. uh, even though I was a child of the seventies. Just that and all the garland and the lights and the kick kick line of mm. Mickey ear Christmas balls. I just think right. that little stretch embodies what I love about the holidays. Yeah. And so I, I love, I think that's what I love the most. Yeah. So I'm excited about going over to Hollywood yeah, Studios. I would too. have loved to have, uh, you know, just taken a lawn chair and put it, you know, in the middle of the Osborne lights and just sit there oh, every yeah. night. Yeah. With some cocoa, maybe spiked cocoa. <laughs> keep keep the coca coming until someone passes out. Yeah, but I, I think they would have frowned upon me bringing a lawn chair into the park. <laughs> yeah, probably. If if you could score a park bench, man, they don't have any there. They got they removed them all. They did. They removed them. Yeah, all? there oh. used to be some benches along yep, uh, the New York Ave there, uh, but they ripped them all out. They don't want you sitting, John. Oh no! If you're sitting, you're not spending the correct amount of money. <laughs> You're not you're not spending money. You're not moving through the park. Yeah. The whole idea is to yeah. keep moving. Right. Yeah. No. No sitting. Yeah. Uh, all right. So let me ask you this then. Okay. What is your favorite resort to go to for Christmas? That, that you like the Christmas that's, decorations. That's such a good question. <sighs> it's a tough one. There's that, plenty to choose from. That is really tough. I would say honestly, pro. I I would say honestly, Wilderness Lodge. Yeah. Uh, I love I love that that resort anyway. I love the trees. I love the little teepees in the trees, mm -hmm. the little uh, Native American drums in the trees. Mm -hmm. um, I just love the feel over there, and I think that it it just it just feels feels nice. Probably with next runner up being the uh, uh, Grand Floridian. Really? How about you? I'm gonna say wilderness as well. But I'm also going to say something weird. All-star sports. <laughs> no. Art of animation. Because oh, yeah. it's that old school Christmas. Yeah. You know, the thing that you get at the studios. Right. I can get at the art of animation. That's, and less crowded. <laughs> and less crowded. <laughs> you know, it's got the uh, the old metal tree. It's yeah. got all kinds of old-timey, uh, you know, Christmas uh, ornaments. So I kind of like that. I'm with you on that, actually. I I have not been over there in a couple of years, so maybe this is yeah. maybe this is a year that we go over and we just do some park 
resort hopping. I would I listen, I, it, it's kind of crazy, but I did it one uh, time when I moved down here. I got up early in the morning. I got up uh, like nine o'clock on a Saturday. Not not usual for me, if you know That's me. That's really strange. That's about four hours before I normally wake up. And I hit every resort in one day. Like I, I went to, I think, the Poly, and I did all the monorail resorts. Then I went to Shades of Green, did that. Then I drove out to uh, Epcot. I think I parked at the Boardwalk and did all those resorts. Wow. Then I went out to, uh, you know, do all the uh, All Stars and the Pop and the Art of Animation. That was it. Boom, done. And, That's like, you know, what, Caribbean. 26 resorts? Yeah. It, it, it was a lot of driving, a lot of... I was worn out. I was tired. I, I don't think I finished until late at night. It's probably 8 or 9 o'clock at night. Right. That I was uh, done with my adventure. Hmm. But uh, yeah, that's awesome. I I think that's a that's a fun thing to do. I mean, I would I would enjoy that. I would probably break it up over two days though. To really, <laughs> well, I figure let me get it done, one and done. Then I can say, hey, I have a picture of every tree, I have a picture of every resort, and that's it. Yeah, that'd be fun. Now now that social media is such an ingrained part of our lives, yeah, sure. that would be a fun thing to do. Spend yeah. the day with Disney resorts, yeah, and just do all the resorts that'd be kind of cool and it wasn't really like i was doing a lot of stuff there it was just like take the picture get out get on to the next right you know no dilly dallying no stopping for ice cream or whatever you know no character just wow that's cool shoot move and communicate as the marines say move and communicate (laughs) i thought it was kill people and break things well we could do that too fair enough (laughs) so uh we're looking at the list of things uh there's really not the, the two things that they've really focused on in advertising, excuse me, that Chinese has come back to haunt me, is uh, is is very Merry Christmas Party yep. and uh, Disney Springs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those are the two big things. But, I mean, they've got, uh, I'm calling up the Disney Parks blog right now, um, they've got a ton of great stuff that they've been um, premiering over at Hollywood Studios. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, tell everybody, if, if you're... If you're not down with what's going on at Hollywood Studios, can you can you kind of give them a, kind of a, a little snapshot of what's going on over there? Okay, so number one is now they've transformed Sunset Boulevard. They have now uh, five scenes that they're calling them. Uh, so they put up all these different screens along Sunset, but the Tower of Terror is now in the show. And they're now projecting onto the Tower of Terror. Right. Uh, so there's like a mini and mini scene. There's a Muppet scene. There's a Toy Story scene. And each one of these scenes, they then do a different projection mm-hmm. on the screens, but then also different trans- transformation on the Tower of Terror. Right. Uh, and then they, they redid uh, all the palm trees are lit up, and they kind of synchronize with the show. Uh, what else? Uh, they have new lights there, uh, the stars. I think now have LED and they change colors and light up with the synchronization of the, mm-hmm. the music. Yep. So they've transformed Sunset Boulevard in, in, into its own show. And it, the reason they did that there is they have no castle. Right. And they're going to probably be doing something, you know, construction at the Great Movie Ride. And there's probably a construction wall there now. So you really can't. Well, I mean, that's where they're doing the Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam. Right. But I think they didn't want to do anything there because that would take away from that. But the other thing they did was uh, they drained the swamp. I mean, Echo Lake. (laughs) They don't look like Trump. (laughs) And that's where uh, Gertie is. Gertie's a big green uh, dinosaur if you don't know who Gertie is. Mm -hmm. Uh, So they drained that, and now they put some Christmas trees and Christmas ornaments in there, which I think was a good idea. Yeah. I I think that was great. But I would have what I would have liked to have seen them do is rather than refilling it with water, it's had like little walkway through there, you know. So you could have gone up and got a you know selfie with the Christmas tree or something like that. Yeah. And the other question I don't know because I I haven't been there yet, is did they still put the tree out front or is now the tree inside the park? I don't know. I because it looks like the tree that's normally out front is now inside in Echo Lake. Yeah. So I don't know. We have to go check that out. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't, yeah, been, haven't been there this weekend. It doesn't officially open or start till the ninth. Right. So that's what I was waiting for. 
Yeah, and the big hit in our house was the new Pluto uh, popcorn, popcorn bucket. bucket. Holy crap. Yeah. I'm shocked that we don't own one yet. I, just, I cannot believe that the effort has not been made. You to, should probably hurry up to because drive I don't think over. they'll last the Christmas season. Ah, yeah, you're probably right. But uh, yeah. yeah, that was the big. They probably hit. only made you know like ten of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I, I do appreciate the fact that uh, that they're putting a little bit more effort into Hollywood Studios because they really needed to. They needed yeah. they needed to have something to draw people over there. Yeah. Um, and so the the official name is Flurry of Fun mm. at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Hey, also, I mean, I mean, if you're going there for if you're coming down for the Christmas season, you're getting three things a night. They still do that movie show, the Star Wars show, mm. and Jingle Bell Jingle Band. Right. I mean that's a full nighttime of entertainment. Yep. At the studios. <laughs> yeah. So they're trying to give you a reason uh, to get over there. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and not only that, Santa Claus is going to be at the Once Upon a Time store. That's right. In Hollywood Studios uh, from November 9th through December 24th, which is pretty cool. And then Santa uh, Santa Goofy steps in mm-hmm. uh, from the 25th to the 31st, which you know that's still fine. good, still good pictures. Why not? Yeah. Uh, but that's that's. You know, Hollywood Studios has kind of been our little whipping boy for a while. So, mm. you know, I'm very, very happy that Disney's giving it some love. And this this is fun stuff. They, they've opened up the um, baseline tap room. Yep. The food there looks re- ridiculously yeah. good. Right. Uh, so that's cool. And I, I guess they've sort of opened up the... what what, what It's not the Streets of America, but it's that little area yeah, that's kind of open. Yeah, yeah. Uh, accidentally opened on purpose, I yeah, think. Yeah. I think the hurricane kind of helped that yeah. along. Right. Um, right. So it's not as bad as it was. Mm-hmm. It's better. And there's a reason to go because you've got all the nighttime stuff there. Yeah. I, I was. Well, it's my, it's really my, it's a, I can't say it's my favorite park because Magic Kingdom's my favorite park. Right. But it's a very close two. I mean, it, it's my number two, but it's a very close one. Right. You know, and maybe once Toy Story opens, oh, dude, there's, I, there's not a question. They, that may be number one, and Magic Kingdom may drop to number two on my list. Yeah, that's not shocking. <laughs> that's not shocking. What I really want to see, what I really, really want to see, is how they handle what all. What you really, really want? What you really, really I'll want? I'll tell you what I want. What I really, really want. I, I really want to see how they handle the Tower of Terror with the with the. Uh, with the uh, the video stuff mm-hmm. and the ride still operating, that's what I want to see. How are they handling that? Or are they no longer opening up the windows? Oh, I bet they're still doing that. Yeah, I want to see that. That's what I want to yeah. see. Yeah. I want to see how they do that. So that'd be fun. Um. So it's uh, hang on. But the other thing, uh, uh, listen, I I'm glad that they're doing that, but uh, they have to find uh, other technologies now. They're projecting on everything. <laughs> they project on the Great Movie Ride. They're projecting on the Tower of Terror. They're projecting on Cinderella's Castle. Right. Uh, they'll just project on anything they can. They're going to do it in Disneyland. All right. Now you have to find something new, Disney. We get it. You can project. Drone <laughs> technology. Oh, wait. I really... I have not seen anything about the drone show coming back, and I really liked it. I have not either, and that's, that bothers me. I want to see it come back. I really, really liked it. I did not think... I. Figure, oh, this is gonna be stupid. It's just gonna be a bunch of drones. You didn't hear anything. You just heard the music. You saw a nice show. It was over in three minutes, and you were done. Right. And you were back to spending your money. Yeah, and it was a great show. It it had yeah. that that had that <gasps> moment like yeah. everybody wanted. And um, yeah, as soon as the Christmas tree came out, you're like, oh, yeah. You know, everybody gave this, oh, yeah, the big the big image that they had. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So there's a lot of cool stuff happening there. I'm looking at the blog post. I made a mistake. I'm looking at the blog post for all the food for the holidays. Oh yeah, flurry of fun at Hollywood Studios. They have. It looks like a giant Swiss roll. I know. I can kill for one of those right now. Uh, yes. If you want a real Swiss roll, yeah, you have to go to Disneyland. Oh, I know. I know. They've been making it there since 1955. They're all handmade. Mm. And they they only make a certain amount each day. It's like the candy canes. They only make a certain amount each day, and they sell it, and that's it. Once it's gone for the day, it's gone. Right. And people wind up early in the morning 
for their candy cane or, or their log. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm such a six-year-old. <laughs> he said log. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Yeah. That's the, uh, and a couple of years ago, they posted this video, you know, how they, uh, you know, the chef, you know, made the log and, you know, they make this nice uh, chocolate, uh, German chocolate cake thin. Right. And then they put the, the buttercream mm-hmm. and then a layer and a buttercream and a layer and then they roll it up by hand. Right. Have you oh. heard about the two new tours that they're offering to the holiday season? No. You haven't heard about this? No. Uh, so it's the holidays. Uh, for the holidays, they got special tours at Walt Disney World. One's called the Disney Yuletide Fantasy, and one's called Disney Holiday Delights. I think the Delights one is an oldie. It probably is. They probably D- just added some stuff to it. Yeah, Disney's Yuletide Fantasy takes you backstage uh, so you can learn how Walt Disney World Resort uh, gets dressed up for the holidays. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can watch the the cast members uh, of holiday services work from holiday celebrations around the world at Epcot uh, uh, to Main Street USA. You'll be able to see all their holiday secrets. I don't know how that works, mm. but you know so, it's a new tour. So they probably take you to uh, holiday services. Yeah, holiday services building. Yeah, yeah, that's tour that. I've been in there. And then the holiday delights is offered on 12 select nights throughout the season. You could meet with event and decorating support cast members and discover mm-hmm. how some of the most... That's, that's the next building over. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Celebrated and cherished holiday uh, customs were brought to life at Epcot and Magic Kingdom. So you learn how they decorate Cinderella Castle with the lights, and you get to experience the iconic uh, candlelight processional. So I guess you're just basically paying for a tour of, you know, holiday event services yeah. and you get a special yeah. seating for the candlelight processional yeah. for one and i don't even know what you now get ho- all right so one. two things i know from taking the tour the holiday services uh does everything on the east coast um that includes uh, all the cruise lines wow. uh vero beach uh walt disney world here in florida uh yeah so everything hilton head uh in hilton head dvc hilton yeah head. dvc hilton head that's what they service. Wow. The only thing that doesn't get done is Disneyland. Then the event services does everything worldwide. If there's an event going on in Japan, they make everything and then ship it. If there's something going what? in Hong Kong, they make it and ship it. Here? Yes. That's How what the guy told us. Yeah. Un, yeah. You know, that just seems a little unwieldy to me. Yes. And I'm going to ask you this question. Who do you think dresses Cinderella's castle with the the lights. Do you think that would be holiday services or event services? Event services. Yeah, strangely enough, it's event services. Yeah, because they're, that's an event. Yeah, yeah. So they're in charge of painting all that all the stuff to match the the castle. That that, uh, That fishing net. That fish net stuff, Yeah. 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 That's crazy. Yeah. Hey, what do you do this week? I gotta paint some fishnets so it matches the castle. I got I got tour at three done. Good day. <laughs> I got I got one foot out of three thousand. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard that's a job too because they've gotta they gotta match that color. That stuff has to literally disappear when they put the lights up. Yes, and here was the other thing the guy told us, and my jaw dropped. Okay. You ready? Yeah. They don't keep it. They cut it off the building and throw it away. How and do it again how inc- the next year. How incredibly uh, green of them. <laughs> well, as a pass holder, I, I'm upset because that's probably why my ticket prices keep going up. Right. As a stockholder, <laughs> well, I guess that's okay. You're probably charging somebody for it. So well, I mean, they could be saving that money as a stockholder. Sure. I'm pissed too. Well, I'm doubling maybe. down on my upset. <laughs> you could recycle maybe. that. What's yeah. up with that? Yeah. And the other thing uh, the guy said was uh, those lights don't use any more electricity than two dryers, two household dryers. Just two. Just two household dryers. That's how much electricity. They're all LED. They're all 
What a low powered LED. Right. Yeah. It's super bright. Yeah, it's super bright. I was driving home last night. So I, I do consulting work at this church up in Mount Dora. So I come down 429, mm-hmm. um, 8, 8 o'clock, 830, 9 o'clock every Sunday night. And mm-hmm. last night uh, was an exceptionally clear night. And you could see the search lights coming off the castle. And then as you round, there's a couple of hills. You can actually see the castle. Mm-hmm. And it was giving off so much light. And I was like, mm-hmm. that's a beacon. <laughs> you know, yeah. I felt like Ray from Princess and the Frog. Well, I'm going towards the light, Grandma Ma. Yeah, I think they're rehearsing some stuff each night this week uh, for uh, the parade taping. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. sure last night was just yeah, a typical probably. night because yeah. it wasn't late. The park wasn't closed. Yeah, because the first party is in until the 9th, so it couldn't have been that. Oh, no. I mean, it's like 8.30 yeah. at night, so the park's still open. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, fireworks didn't go till like 9 or yeah. 10, so... Yeah. Well, the Christmas lights on the castle have to be up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're up. I mean, they're already doing the lighting. Yeah, because they start lighting. they start putting them up in August. Yeah, they had them on last night. They got the you know the, the make sure you get your annual Christmas crane. The Christmas crane shot. <laughs> that's that's if you don't have twenty five of those in your in your iPhone. <laughs> Call me. I'll send you yeah, some. Yeah, we'll send you some. <laughs> and I love when people complain about it. Can you can you have them move the crane? I love when. Come on, people. Just just Photoshop it out. Yeah. Just listen. If you're going to plan a wedding or some very important occasion, don't do it in August. August, September, October. You will have a crane in your picture. Right. I can guarantee you that. And Disney's not going to help you crop it out. You're on your own. No. I, I have a uh, I have a service that I could offer if you'd like me to Photoshop <laughs> your, you your know, crane. Reach out to Disney Parks Podcast at gmail.com and I'll Photoshop all your photos for a very, very reasonable fee. <laughs> Fiverr. <laughs> I, but would you trust your most trusted photos from Walt Disney World to some idiot yeah. at Fiverr? No, 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 no. Reach out to me. I'll help you out. Right. Give it my services <laughs> with a Fiverr goofball. John is uh, a hired gun. That's true. Uh, Sid's, on, Sid's on here. Says, I love the Grand Floridian and the Gingerbread House. Yeah, I haven't cool. seen any photos from the Gingerbread House this year. Not yet, yeah. It's not, is it not up yet? I don't know. Hmm. Usually people start posting stuff. Yeah, I know, right? I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anything either. All right, so um, so we spent a lot of time in Hollywood Studios, and now we're we're naturally talking about Magic Kingdom. So let's kind of go through the list of uh, the few things uh, to celebrate the most wonderful time of year at Mickey's very merry Christmas party. Mickey, Betty, Betty. So um, this is interesting. I'm starting to see characters that I've not seen before popping up on my timeline oh, really? on Facebook. Like? Uh, a couple of bears that I haven't seen before. Oh, really? Yeah, and I, I, I guess I'm not paying close enough attention where I can just recall their names, mm. uh, but I think they've been pulling out some of the old classic characters. Nice. So who Good knows? for them. They should. So um, Mickey and his pals and some of their friends over the Unforgettable Christmas Party filled with music, dancing, color, and fun. Uh, the Cinderella four-court stage. So you got the that celebration mm-hmm. features a medley of Christmas holiday songs, both classic and contemporary, with special effects, magical projections, and beloved Disney characters, including Woody and Jesse from Toy Story, right. uh, Fantasyland friends like Peter Pan and Snow White. <clears throat> so that's cool. So that's the uh, four court stage show. Right. Uh, I'm a little concerned that they've gotten rid of the uh, dancing deer. Yeah. They got rid of those a couple years ago. Oh, he need a little Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then yours and my favorite. In the first time in forever. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I really just wish they'd go back to the uh, uh, the fairy godmother. I think that ship has sailed, my friend. Yeah. I think it's gone with the wind. I think it's been crushed. I think it's been crushed under the mighty feet of Marshmallow, the ice monster. <laughs> Which is kind of sad. Now they got the frozen. And speaking holiday, of which... the uh, marshmallow, uh, Josh mentioned today that he will not be in New York City for the inaugural. Oh, Josh Gad. Yeah, he's going to be in Australia filming a movie. Oh. So you will not see Josh Gad at the Thanksgiving Day Parade. You probably see Kristen Bell because she's everywhere. <laughs> she's everywhere. Josh should she be. She's literally everywhere. <laughs> she's so everywhere. So yeah, so you've got. Uh, no longer do you have the the holiday wish now you have the frozen frozen holiday wish in the first time of forever so yeah i mean I, it's and 
they put some Christmas stuff into the Frozen show at the studios too. Oh, good for them. Yeah. Yeah. So now those poor cast members who have been doing the same thing 18 times a day now have to learn this whole new script. Jingle bell, jingle bell. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I'm sure they probably appreciate the... Uh, the change up? The breaking of the monotony, yeah. Yeah. So you got the Frozen Wish now. That that basically is a candle lighting celebration. And that uh, actually... the I have this gnat that's flying around. It's driving oh. crazy. Flew up my nose a second ago. That was sexy. Um, sexy gnat. Is they're going to live stream that on uh, November 9th nice. at the Disney Parks blog. So, yay. 9 p.m. Eastern? Um, oh, oh, close that window. Uh, does it say? Huh. You check out the Disney Parks blog for time. Okay. Yeah. Plus, you got the fireworks. Are you on the same? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you got the fireworks, yep. which are pretty amazing. I've not seen them test the fireworks. So I have no idea if it's new fireworks or... You know, basically the same as like I think so. It's the same as last year. Yeah. You know. They're still calling it holiday wishes, they're not calling it holiday happily yeah. ever after. Yeah. Holidays <laughs> ever after. Yeah. <laughs> or happy ever uh, holidays. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some yeah. yeah. But they've added now the little extra tag to it, celebrate the spirit of the season. Good for you guys. <laughs> Good for you. I'll tell you, did I tell you did I tell you what we did the last day? But those month? are nice because they are perimeter. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's amazing to watch from our house. Yeah. To see to see them the whole place lights up. I'll tell you a good place. Where? My house. Uh yep, yeah, that's probably a good place. Uh Robin and Robin found a place at the Wilderness Lodge on the concierge level. <laughs> Of course they did. <laughs> There's a window that faces the castle. Oh, wow. And you can see all the fireworks. And when they do the perimeter, you get a beautiful view. Oh, wow. From inside there. But you have to be DVC. You can be concierge level, right? No. You have to pay to be, be on, on the, the cons- concierge oh, level. Yeah. I'm sorry. But hmm. I'm assuming if you just go one floor up... The, there's probably another window there that's free. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Now, the fun part would be if the window's open, so you oh, can yeah. hear the music that'd be at cool. least. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be the, the that'd kicker. Be the, that'd be the cat's meow. Yeah. Did I tell you the story about what we did the last night Mom was here? No. So last night we were here, I didn't... How, how the wishes? I don't think so. Okay, so... And, and, it, and it pertains to this. I'm not just doing a throwback story. So we went to the other side of cast member parking. Because they've built like a 7-Eleven oh, yeah. and the storage stuff right mm. there. We parked at the storage facility and watched the fireworks from there. Oh, wow. Those fireworks do not explode very high off the ground. No. I thought they did. No. Because, you know, those big, huge ones are like, oh, man. Because it's, like it's just above the castle, 10, and that's only 199 feet. Yeah, yeah. Like 10,000 feet in the air. It's like, no, they're like there. Yeah. And I'm like, holy crap. Yeah. And uh, The whole like, thing is an optical illusion. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I just thought, wow, that... How many years they've been exploding fireworks right there, not that high off the ground, and I'm shocked they haven't had more fires. Yeah. You know, some of the dry seasons we've had. Well, I think the fire marshal uh, well, uh, would argue with us about that. Well, that's true. Because <laughs> he did complain. I'm sure. Well, yeah, but... During the dry season. Hmm. Well, I'm sure on Disney property, everything was very wet. Because they'd probably hose it down. No. No, really? Yeah. He, uh, he complained. The, uh fire marshal or the fire chief of uh reedy creek oh was complaining that all his uh crews had to be out putting out fires while they were you know lighting off fireworks in three different parks <laughs> job security <laughs> yeah <laughs> so it's a it's amazing if you if you're visiting and you can afford to to you know if you're if you've got a car or you know somebody mm-hmm. in the area just go park there and watch your fireworks. I mean, it's just, it's an so amazing. So cast member parking so, in the back of the Magic Kingdom? Right. right. So you got your back of the Magic Kingdom. You right. can literally drive, you know, Floridian Way. Yeah. You know, hang, whichever way you're going, hang that right, right or left, and you go through, mm-hmm. and then you, you're you on Reams Road, right? Right, Well, yeah. right across there, they've built a 7-Eleven and built a storage facility. Oh, okay. So you can just pull in right there and just park, and mm-hmm. you're literally right. You're we have to check that out one night. Literally right across the street yeah. from the fireworks. It's the craziest yeah. thing. Yeah. Actually, honestly, 
if I were the type of person that wanted to stay out on amateur night mm. on uh, New Year's Eve, yeah. that's where I would go because from there it's just a backwoods drive back to my house. Mm. Probably the safest way to go. Well, I've often wanted to because I, you know, they closed Floridian Way and what is it, World Drive, mm-hmm. you know, so that you can't get back when the fireworks are going off, obviously. But if you go past the Grand Floridian on Floridian Way, there's a firehouse on the left-hand side. Mm-hmm. It's got a pretty big parking lot. Yeah, I've parked I've, there before. Yeah, I've often wanted to just park there because that's really close to where they're being shot. Right. You know, if I've, if you get a chance, I think it's around 4 o'clock, take Grand Floridian Way and you can watch them. Well, you can't really watch them, but you can see them loading the the canisters uh, with the... Uh, the little yellow lights going on yeah and it it really honest to guy looks like a bunch of barbecue girls yeah when you drive by it you're like it's like a barbecue girl farm some black thing yeah silver cannon yeah things it's really cool to see uh so anyway so you got the wishes uh holiday wishes and and you'll also know it by the barbed wire (laughs) yes the barbed wire the fencing yeah uh (laughs) the the weaponized drones (laughs) the danger signs the danger signs (laughs) the big yellow flashing lights yeah um this is interesting. Uh, I don't think I've been to this. Club Tinsel. You haven't been to Club Tinsel? I have not been to Club Tinsel. Come on. Yes, you, you must have. I, I don't know if you I have. You must have. I don't know if I have. You had to. Have. I might have walked through it not knowing what it was. Probably. So, in, so, inside, so where Cosmic Ray is yeah. and where Sunny is, right? it's all characters dancing yeah. all night long. Yep. Uh, you got a DJ. That's probably why I didn't yeah. go. Yeah. Uh, so DJ and some North Pole, pa- North Pole Pals in the cheeriest dance party this side of Santa's workshop. Yeah, it's I fun. Wonder, I wonder if they have, uh, you know. Um, Listen, if and- you want to rub up against a uh, character, uh, Pluto, Goofy, <laughs> Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, I, I, I mean, it's your dance. You right. can you literally go up to Donald, grab his hands, and start dancing with him. Yes, yes. Within reason. Within reason. Yeah. We don't want to get in trouble with Disney. No, I mean, there's the handle is there. Yes. Keeping a watchful eye, but you could certainly dance with them. Yes. And and most of the characters don't have a Absolutely. Problem. Absolutely. They, they're more hip to the kids, but uh, as an adult, you can get you away can with it for, for a little bit. Yeah. You can sneak <laughs> in a little yeah. bit. Uh, and then not, not to be outdone, because, you know, you've got that stage over in Tomorrowland, uh, so... Yeah. Now you got the Totally Tomorrowland Christmas with and their your dance favorites. Party. Yeah. yeah, but you can dance with Buzz Lightyear mm. and Mike Wazowski. 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 <laughs> wow, that's the first time that you've had to correct me. Uh, Mike Wazowski and Stitch. Yeah. You know, uh, you could join your host, Haley Comet. Yeah. Yikes. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the Intergalactic Music Review in the Rocket Tower Plaza stage. Yeah. Yay, buddy. Shows a full modern twist. Worst stage ever built. Oh, yeah. Horrible. The worst. <laughs> the total worst. Um, but, you know, there's always kids there. I mean, we might not like it, but it fulfills a purpose. Okay. One, uh, I don't think it was during a Christmas party. It wasn't during a Christmas party, but I was in the Carousel Progress. And there was a DJ on the stage. <laughs> yeah, he told me the story. And uh, I came outside, and there was a manager standing there. And I said, listen, I don't think Walt envisioned... I forgot the stupid song that was playing. Great Big Beautiful Tomorrow. No. <laughs> no, the, oh. the song the DJ was playing. I don't think he had it that envisioned when he built the Carousel of Progress. I shouldn't have to hear that music inside the Carousel of Progress. And she's like, well, he's supposed to keep it. He's supposed to, but he's not. Right. If I can hear it inside the building. Right. So. It's like, well, family, so that's there. Have a magical day. I hate DJs. Yeah. They're the worst. Uh, And if you're out there and you're a DJ, I I don't mean to offend you. I just, (laughs) you know. And Santa. Oh, yes. Don't forget about Santa. Santa Claus is coming to town. Uh, when he's not appearing in Mickey's Once Upon a Time Christmas Parade, Santa drops in on the to- uh, Town Square Courtyard near City Hall over at Main Street, USA, where guests can whisper their fondest wishes to him. Now, is this just Santa or does Santa Goofy make an appearance? Eh? No, this is Santa. Just Santa. Santa. That's it? Santa at the end of the parade. Yeah. That's cool. 
All right, so uh, the party begins uh, at 7 p.m., but we all know about the 4 p.m. rule. Right. Um, and they're trying something new this year. Yes. They're going to try and get people out by 6 as to not ruin the uh, <laughs> experience. Uh, I think what they're going to... They're going to allow you to stay on Main Street for the 615 fireworks, and then they're going to toss you out. And I think they're going to try and take a hard line with this. But I paid $110 to be here today. But you knew that it closed at 6, and we let you in an hour early. But I but I paid $110 today. You're getting your... Due time, I said, <laughs> sir. You're just going to have to leave a little early tonight. So if I come back here in a month, I can be here from 9 o'clock in the morning until 11 o'clock at the night. The same amount of hours. But that, okay. <laughs> That's what you see saying. my You see my problem. I here. see your problem, okay. but I'm just telling you what they're saying. I know. And they, I think they're, uh, you won't be able to get uh, to, to any land Mm-mm. without a wristband. And definitely not on an attraction without a wristband. Oh yeah, they're 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 clamped down on that. Yeah, pretty hard they're going to take a hard line this year. I'm going to, I, it almost is tempting to go. <laughs> just to be a jerk. Just, about no, it. just to see if they really do <laughs> no. toss everybody out. That line that they do from the back of the park and then they all kind of walk forward. Yeah. That's pretty mm-hmm. formidable. Mm-hmm. You know. Um, yeah. Well, we'll see. Anyway. We so. shall see. All right. So as we wrap up, we want to make sure that um, there's a lot of dates for the Christmas party. Oh, yeah. uh, we'll have those if they're not already on the website. And uh, we will um, we will talk about that later on. But uh, if you're coming down to Disney for the, the Christmas show, let us know when you're coming. Um, maybe we can, we can yeah. say hi. Uh, if you have an extra ticket, I'm sure Tony or I would love to tag along. <laughs> uh, we could be your concierge service for the day. <laughs> Taking nothing against yeah. Ramon and his crew, but I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. We know a lot about Disney, too. <laughs> I'm like a walking park map. <laughs> you are a walking park map. <laughs> I know where the bathrooms are. That's right. <laughs> or the good bathrooms That's are, right. I should right. say. The less stinky ones. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so anything else you want to add to this about the, about the no, holidays? No. And we, and we spoke about all the stuff at Disney Springs uh, last week. Yeah, yeah, we did. Well, bigger yeah. Christmas yep. trails, mm-hmm. Santa Chalet, yep. Stitches Gift Hunt, the yep. Polar Bear, Lanuba is going away December thirty first. Do we have any rumors on what's coming into that space? No, for the Lanuba. Yeah, um, the West Side is going to be uh, a desert island soon. There's no Disney Quest. There's no Lanuba. The only reason to go down there is go to the Hard Rock. Uh, not the Hard Rock. The House of Blues. House of Blues. Yep, House yeah. of Blues, and go get your Cajun yeah. on. Yeah, Wolfgang is closed. Well, you can go to the movie theater, and you can go to Splitsville. Mm-hmm. That's about yeah. it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Congas. Bongos. It's bongos. Do not go to bongos. What's wrong with bongos? Excuse me, what's wrong with bongos? <gasps> the food has been terrible there. Terrible. That is true. I think that place needs a re- super rehab. I yeah. hope that's next on the list. I really do. Yeah. Well, you know, after they're done with building Jose's place, I hope they just send the construction people next door. <laughs> Go fix that place. Fix now. the fix it. Well, let's overhaul the menu. Do something different. Over yeah. There. I mean, it's. But it, I think it needs a fresh coat of paint, some upgrading. And and tune the bongos out front, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That drives me crazy. Yeah. Um, and looking forward to seeing you at the next meetup, which is. December 9th. 9th. Yeah. So it should be yeah. good. Other than that, I got nothing else, my friend. We'll see you in the parts. The Disney Parks Podcast is not affiliated with the Walt Disney Company. All Disney parks, attractions, lands, shows, event names, etc. are registered trademarks of the Walt Disney Company. Like a boat out of the blue Fate steps in and sees you through